Welcome back. This is our MRS 21 Fall 2021 quiz number two review part two. Uh, and this is for ev everyone who has trouble with some of these questions and want to know kind of a, of a preview of what's going to be going on uh, for our quiz this coming week. All right. And so our question number two will be uh, not a multiple choice question. It's one you have to write everything out and show work. This is a multiplying question here, and you're, you're multiplying 3x squared minus 5x plus 3 times x plus 2. And so there are two techniques in this case. Uh, the first one is distributive property, and the second one's box method. And so I'm going to be showing you box method here. And so uh, I like to set up a, a box method. Box method really in this case is going to be where you create a box or a kind of like, um rectangle whose grid is based upon the number of items in the first polynomial by the second number of items in the second polynomial. So really it's a three by two here. And uh, so in this case, the 3x squared minus 5x plus 3, I'm going to put that on top here. Now each of these spaces represents each term in the first trinomial. And on down the side, almost like, so the length is like the, 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 the whole polynomial, the first polynomial. And the and the, the width or the, 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 the height in this case is going to be the the uh, second polynomial. And the idea is to treat this like find the area, right? So we would find area using length times width or base times height. Uh, so there are going to be now six, inside six of the small rectangles here. You find the area of each of these rectangles, right? based upon each of these uh, measurements, and then you know, find and add them together afterwards. It's very similar to, and I know we could probably get a negative number, but we use the concept of, of just area. So we, we you know, just we'll multiply, just really multiplying here. Um, for those, you know, it, it kind of makes it, for me, I think um, uh, it, it's very organized. For those of you who, who are sometimes a little worried about, um, a little worried about, you know, maybe, so many things going on at the same time, it compartmentalizes a lot of things, meaning you get to the two things one at a time. And so usually, hopefully, that makes things easier. I would also recommend, you don't have to, but you know, put a one uh, for each of these x's here so that in this case, remembering that we are multiplying, uh, when we multiply two numbers at the same base, we keep the base and we add x months. So now we're going to multiply the x to the first power times 3x squared. And so that's going to be three times three x to the third, okay? Because you know x squared times x to the first is x to the third. We add x once here. Now we're going to multiply the negative five x times x, and that gives us negative five x squared. And now multiply the three times the x, and we get plus three x. Okay? So you say, well, where did the x come from? Well, it's the same same height for that level, for that first level here. So all, so the highest x for that, so, that, so each of those are first level of rectangles. And the, the, the widths, of, or in this case, the, the lengths of each of those, um, of those boxes on top are gonna be each of the terms of the, of the trinomial here. We continue on with the second level here by multiplying the two times three x squared to get six x squared. Now multiply two times the negative five x give us negative ten x, and then finally three times two, which is plus six. So you multiplied each of these terms. If you use distributive property, which uh, we'll show as well too, it's the same thing. All right. Uh, the nice thing is that you know again it gives you a chance to take a look at each one separately and. Honestly, when we do the multiplication of these, hopefully we're practicing. They don't take too long to find. Now, we could list all these here on, on the outside here. So we have 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x. And then on the bottom row, we're going to line up the like terms underneath. So the 6x squared is going to go underneath the 5x squared, so plus 6x squared. The minus 10x goes under the positive 3x, and we have plus 6. So the idea here is that when you we line them up, we line all the like terms underneath each other, and it's much easier to kind of in this case uh, combine them because now we're just adding a downwards. So we get plus six. Three plus negative ten is negative seven x. Negative five x squared plus six x squared is really negative five plus six or positive one x squared, and of course the three x cubed. And that is going to be our answer.
Now, some of you are saying, but Mr. Gong, you know, I'm just not crazy about the box method. I'll use like Truman method. Totally okay. And so, in this case, I would do the following. I'd have x plus, I'd rewrite x plus 2 times 3x squared minus 5x plus 3. Because I'm going to do Schroeder property, and I like to, you know, in this case, it doesn't matter. You could have done it the same way. So I'm going to draw rainbows, the first set of rainbows here. To remind me that when I'm multiplying. So x times 3x squared is 3x to the third. x times negative 5x is negative, uh, is negative 5x squared. And x times 3 is plus 3x. Now I will attribute the 2. 2 times 3x squared, 2 times negative 5x, and then 2 times 3. So 2 times 3x squared is going to be plus 6x squared. 2 times negative 5x is going to be negative 10x. And 2 times 3 is 6. And you'll notice it's really the same exact thing as the, as the box method. So either method's fine. Either method's fine. Which one's better? The one you are most likely to get correct, meaning you want more, one more most comfortable with. But to be comfortable with this, you have to practice. So notice we still get the same thing of 3x cubed plus 1x squared minus 7x plus 6. Okay? All right, I'll make this full page. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the uh, how we do question number two. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. I'm again doing this again doing this raffle for subscribers. Uh, probably gonna probably gonna stop taking uh, entries into the raffle sometime um, in December at the uh, uh, probably before the, uh, probably the before the end of the year and uh, and then tally up all the uh, all the entries. The only those who are subscribed can, can answer. So everyone who subscribed gets one, one entry. And every comment put into a video, hopefully you guys have nice comments. But again, any comments or that you, any questions you have are definitely going to be counting out as um, as an entry into the raffle. So just got to try to figure out how to do this and all. And then I'll, then I'll be able to try to then decide who gets the... The, uh, the 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 prize again the free giveaway to uh, to one person in this case it's a Funko Pop Lion Friends Brown Bear Brown Bear from Lion Friends Funko Pop which I have extra of okay all right everybody thanks so much for watching I hope you guys catch the next one and make sure you catch the first video if you haven't done so already all right okay everybody everyone have a fantastic day take care I'll see you in the next video.